There's a promo recently on Fox Nation for a, a right wing or right leaning comedy tour that's going around. Here's a bit of that promotional footage. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of laughter. Watch as comedian Michael Loftus gives his hilarious take on American history. I think England misses America every 4th of July. They're like, damn it, we lost them. We could have had it all. We could have had it all. American politics. Everybody remembers the Bill Clinton when he first came in, when he was relaxed and laid back. And then we found out why. And American stereotypes. I'd like to get someone from Nolens against someone from Rural on the Wheel of Fortune on the same day. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Yeah, I'd like to buy a. Plus, the musical comedy musings of Brian Hayner. Everything is extreme. Everything is a meme. And laugh out loud with Reno Collier. You're damn right you are. You know? Freedom to laugh. Okay, so I, uh, as we all know, am not a comedian, but both of you are. So I, look, I've been curious for a long time about conservative comedy. It doesn't often make a ton of sense to me. Now, from what I can see from that footage, we have a little bit more. This does not seem like hard right attacking liberal sort of comedy. No. But like you've you've both traveled, you've gone all over the place in some of these areas. And in fact, you know some of the people involved in this. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this, about conservative comedy. Well, let me tell you, if Mike Loftus, I've known Mike a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike is a, he's a great comic. Look, he found a niche here. He mm -hmm. found a bunch of people who are gonna pay good money to see him and he's gonna do his material. I don't think he's the extreme right wing hateful, Kind of, get, you know, what I mean, it's not a rally. It, but, but whatever it is, I ain't mad at you. You found a niche. You're making money. Mm -hmm. Good for him. You know yeah. what I mean? Th this right wing thing. People always ask, what's it like, right wing people? They don't come to comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't come to to comedy. They're certainly not coming to see me. As soon as they see a black comic <laughs> up there, they're like, I wonder if this guy's with Trump. No, no, they pretty much know <laughs> ahead of time. You know, so so good for him. I mean, this is like you, what diamond and silk. Right, look at look at them. Now that's one that really you talk about. We're in it for the money, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, good for Mike. And and if you and let me tell you, as a comic, right? As a comic, if I could get a network to promote my tour, mm. if I could get CNN to say go see Alonzo Bowden or or MSNBC or anybody or or the Young Turk. Can someone here say <laughs> it? No? Hey, we promoted the start. No. But but that's huge. It, it's sell, it's about selling tickets, making money, man. Putting asses yeah. in seats. Yeah, it's funny. God bless it. No, I mean, listen. It's funny because that promo definitely didn't seem again like super extreme. Because usually when you see like right wing comics are like, we don't give a, a rat's behind about the SJWs. You know, mm -hmm. we're gonna punch down. We can make fun of everybody. Remember when we used to make fun of the poor and the disabled? Those were the good old days. Like that's usually what like right wing comedy uh, kind of builds itself. As, um, which is just being mean spirited and listens. It gets laughs in certain, you know, 4chan circles. But <laughs> what I will say is this: if you think that like co comedians and comedy, like people are way too sensitive and no one's laughing anymore, go to an open mic. There is an open mic near you on any given night. It is at a dumpy bar. You can go there and you will see the most offensive, sexist, racist, homophobic material being tried out. And just feel at ease and mm -hmm. be like, yes, freedom of speech isn't dead. There are a lot of comics who bring their dogs inside the bar, and you know, maybe they live around the corner. We don't know. I'm not dumping on the poor. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is, there's a lot of bad comedy out there, and I just don't find right wing comedy funny uh, because usually it's making fun of people who are actually in need. Mm -hmm. So that's my take on this. Well, I was, but I think people still do that kind of comedy. I was going to say, don't go, don't go see an open mic. Come see us pros do it. Yeah, exactly. Don't waste your time seeing unfunny people do it. Come see us <laughs> funny people do it. Um, I could spend hours on that argument about what you're not allowed to say in comedy. I stand behind this 100%. If it's funny, you can say it. I still see it said, things that are so-called offensive to people. Right. You know, I could take this back. When I started in comedy in the 90s, Def Jam was the biggest Mm -hmm. Comedy thing in in America, biggest thing. Def Jam wasn't big on white people, mm -hmm. you know. I, I <laughs> Jay Moore used to have a joke and during Def Jam. He's like, I watch Def Jam to see how white people are supposed to talk, right? <laughs> because a bunch of black comics were like, hey, white people do this, white people. There's no hate. It's different and it's funny and it is what it is. So if he's doing a right wing comedy show, it's probably not going to be funny to you if you're left wing. Mm -hmm. Just like if you're a right wing person and you go to the typical comedy show, because comics definitely tend to lean left. 
you're gonna be like, this isn't funny. When they make fun of Trump, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not right. He's the president. We should respect the office, right? right? How many times have we heard that nonsense? So I ain't mad at him. Good for him. Go, Mike, make some money. Maybe okay. you pay me back what he owes me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he doesn't know me anymore. I'm joking. See, that's funny. I'm joke. Don't miss your chance to win a trip to Los Angeles and have dinner with Jank, John, and me. Just head to tyt.com slash dinner in LA to register to win. Sign up for a free aspiration spend and save account. Then you just register your eligibility and swipe your aspiration card daily on purchases to gain entries. Not only are you entering to win a trip to Los Angeles and dinner with TYT hosts, you're also not depositing your hard earned money into fossil fuel exploration or production. As a friendly reminder, even if you already have an aspiration account, you must still register for eligibility into the sweepstakes.